It is the 4th of the 6th, 2012, and this is today's climate change update. I got my new camera going up and ready. Uh, hopefully it uh, doesn't quite have the zoomy as the last one, but uh, it's got a lot more bells and whistles, so we'll give it a shot. Off to SOT.net. Big earthquake, a couple of them off the coast of Panama. Um, they've downgraded it down to a 6.4 and a 6.2. Uh, no tsunami warnings, of course, um, just a part of the ring of fire. Um, winter hits Europe, Stockholm has coldest day in 84 years. Sweden's coldest temperature in 20 years. Parts of Europe are being gripped by an unusual cold, even though the calendar says it's meteorological summer. Now children in Sweden are finding out what snow is like in June. Uh, strangest warming I've ever seen. The English language the local here writes, the Stockholm broke 84-year-old cold records on Saturday as the capital's temperature reached only 6 degrees Celsius, of the lowest June maximum daily temperature the city has seen since 1928. Firefighters make progress against historic New Mexico blaze. Of firefighters battling New Mexico's largest ever blaze gained ground on Sunday and officials said they would begin to allow evacuated residents to return home on Monday. So they're making a little headway there. Um, some sinkholes in China. Stay or go. Some towns are eyeing retreat from the sea. Now, this is out of California. Los Angeles, years of ferocious storms have threatened to gnaw away the western tip of a popular beachfront park two hours' drive north of Los Angeles. Instead of building a 500-foot-long wooden defense next to the pier to tame the tide, the latest thinking is to flee. Uh, the work is underway to gauge the toll of ripping up the parking lots on the highly eroded west end of uh, Goleta Beach County Park, moving a scenic bike path and bird utility lines inland away from lapping waves. Um, they just don't have the money to uh, fight back Mother Nature. Um, so it just goes shine of the sign of the times. Roll Clouds filmed in Texas, Montana on the 29th through 30th of May. And these are the big storms. You can see these big wall clouds rolling through. Got some pretty good videos of that. And, of course, uh, what do GMO seeds have to do with the bee die-offs in the Corn Belt? Question mark. In the last few weeks, beekeepers have reported staggering losses in Minnesota, Nebraska, and Ohio after their hives uh, foraged on pes pesticide-treated cornfields. Indiana, too, two years ago, what's going on in the Corn Belt? And these are these damn GMO um, insect-resistant crops. Over to the extinction protocol. Um, severe storms reported over, the, over regions of northern China. Heavy rainfall has been sweeping across of northern and northeast China. Uh, the storm caused traffic delays and many flights have been delayed or canceled. Uh, we all know the story. Uh, some more stuff. 5.9 magnitude earthquake causes tall buildings to sway in Indonesian capital. Uh, Jakarta, Indonesia, a strong earthquake off the Indonesian coast caused tall buildings to sway in the capital Monday afternoon. But officials said that there was no threat of a tsunami. Again, the ring of fire. And... Earth hit by mild geomagnetic storm. More sunspots emerge on the sun. We have a big blast of sunspots coming out right now. Um, several earth facing. And large tornado outbreak hits east coast of the United States. Nine tornadoes have been reported. Uh, out of Maryland, high winds and heavy rains and at least nine tornadoes have descended on the mid-Atlantic region, causing at least one serious injury, but no deaths and damaging houses, businesses, and boats, officials said on Saturday. Now, if you watch these storms on satellite, they get the big swirl, and uh, uh, Carney Art was calling them Lando Canes. And uh, we've been calling them that for a little while now. We've been watching these develop uh, for the past few years, those of us who have been paying attention. Um, so, yeah, and they do produce the tornadoes. So basically it's a, it's a tropical storm or a hurricane over the land kind of thing. Northern Italy rattled by seven tremors in one day. 
Uh, there's been a fall in the number of earthquake tremors recorded in areas across the provinces and where two earthquakes on May 20th and 29th were devastated churches and businesses leaving a total of 19 people dead. And they're still having aftershocks with that. Uh, what they're not telling you is uh, there's a lot of uh, fracking going on in the area and um, oil production or drilling kind of thing. And some economy stuff, more war stuff. Record wildfire in New Mexico, only 15% contained. That was a couple days ago. Uh, but again, just like uh, SAT.net reports, uh, they're getting a grip on it, that historic big fire in New Mexico. Over to the watchers, I want to cover a couple stories over here. Typhoon, Typhoon uh, Mawar gained strength and is heading towards Taiwan and Japan. Uh, this is just what building number four Fukushima Daiichi needs. Typhoon uh, Mawar is currently located northeast of the Philippines and have strengthened over the past 24 hours. It is now moving northward away from the Philippines and will next set its sights on Taiwan before approaching Japan on Tuesday and Wednesday. Uh, it looks like maximum sustained winds of 140 kilometers per hour. that other story I wanted to cover. New deep sea hydrothermal fence discovered in the Gulf of California. Scientists had uncovered clusters of volcanic vents towering above the seafloor in a region of deep sea off the coast of Mexico. This so-called black smoker vents lies about 7,400 7, meters or 7,900 feet deep with chimneys reaching 23 meters or 75 feet. These magma-powered hydrothermal vents are essentially fissures and cracks in the ocean floor that allow seawater to reach deep, superheated rock, producing scalding jets of chemical-laden chemical water. Our researchers from Monterey Bay Research Institute discovered these vents in fields in late April. And ongoing, they are finding thousands and thousands of these underwater volcanoes, um, and a lot of them are active. Um, so, it just goes into that whole carbon tax scam bullshit um, as far as heating of the oceans and stuff. What happens, you know, when a thousand volcanoes are erupting into the ocean? That water's going to heat up a little bit, don't you think? And Venus is approaching the sun in advance of the June 5th transit. Of course, we have the Venus transit um, would be the 5th. Uh, PM here in the United States, uh, they're saying right here around Iowa, 5 o'clock is going to be a pretty peak time for us. Uh, and watch it as it goes down. This thing's supposed to take about 8 hours, and uh, I will definitely attempt uh, to get it on this new camera. Uh, we'll see how the new Zoomy works. And fracking responsible for water contamination across the United States. I've been preaching this one for years. Lawsuits from individuals who believe their water has been contaminated by hydraulic fracturing are coming in all across the U.S. And support for stricter regulation is growing. This was backed up by US, uh, recent U.S. Environmental Protection Agency findings that raised awareness of potentially harmful levels of water contamination that may be the result of hydraulic fracking or fracking. And that's where they, uh, the process where fluids and sand and toxic chemicals are pumped deep underground at very high pressures to crack the rock and release the gas trapped in the rock. And uh, they're saying it's below the water table, so it's safe um, to do. But what they're not reporting is there, there are leaks in the lines, and they got to pump it up through the water table to get it back. And then there's spills on the ground, and that seeps into the ground and that kind of thing. Uh, you got to bear in mind they are they are injecting our earth with toxic chemicals, sand under very high pressures, um, so you can have cheap natural gas. Or that's the myth anyway. Uh, let's just go ahead and go over to the nuclear stuff, you need news. I'm just going to read the headlines, of course. <coughs> Excuse me. TV. I honestly think for those that can run away from here, it would be better to run away. You should have ran away last year. And if you can get away from this Japanese disaster, 
uh, please do. Just bear in mind the northern hemisphere is contaminated and radiated and continues to be.